Just trying to do some yard work a little bit, not much, because I still don't know if we're going to have garden. I think I'll occupy one bed that is like a little bit worse because it has more clay just to experiment because I still have so many seeds. I'll be, obviously we'll be using the uh, pots. I just need to get a few coconut liners from Dollar Tree or Dollar 25 Tree as I call it. I'm working on a few little poems and the videos to accompany them just like a visual representation. I also try to write every day. I mean, I read a journal, but I got a separate journal just... Oh god, that lighting looks terrible. I got a few... Not a few, I got one journal just to separately write like poems and short stories. I'm really working on... Oh my god, that light is insane. I'm working on writing short stories and yes, I don't know. It feels good, except this light. This light feels not good. I also downloaded the app that allows you to film and make photos as if you have different types of cameras and there is Super 8 and Super 8 is like one of my favorite cameras and I've been always obsessed with film and Super 8 is just like so, I don't know, just so moody and I've been filming a lot of videos, I have a few ideas for that so, but ever since Eclipse I've been feeling so like wild and free life feels like a game like it just feels like everything is temporary and nothing makes really sense and we take everything so seriously while we don't really have to and i don't know i just can't take anything seriously from you know that point when eclipse happened it's it's so weird to say that but it's it's true i feel like something shifted in me something just shifted in general and the clouds are so freaking beautiful, let me show you. I just feel like I'm a alien fairy elf witch who lives in this world and everything just feels so unserious. Like, obviously I still have to and I do enjoy you know, day-to-day -day mundane things and I do have goals, I do have plans, but in general it just doesn't make sense. People literally kill their only lives to become CEOs or managers. And I do understand it's probably so easy for me to speak, especially in this position, but like I've been working my whole life and I've been sold you have to take on extra projects you have to do this and that and frankly it it did give me skills and at that time it did work out because you know i would do a little bit for like a little bit more for the managers and then you know in the situation of need like they would be able to do something extra for me which was nice but here like i had a completely different experience with that last year where I had not that I had but I definitely went above and beyond for the company and they did not appreciate that in uh, like retrospect I would probably not do that I would just do you know I would just mind my business I would not give them ideas I would not propose like any extra solutions, but it's okay, it, that's not my point, like whatever. And I mean, yes, I'm still hurt. I, I let go of the situation, but I mean, I'm still a little bit hurt because that was the first time that something like that happened to me and that was definitely not fair. But anyways, I just feel like I am free, I am wild and I frankly don't give a shit. <laughs> you know that TikTok where, for, I think it's, it's from Frida, the movie? where she says something like that like i don't give a shit what anyone thinks and this is how i feel like i feel it in my blood in my bone i just i can't care anymore because life can end at any moment people my age die people younger than me die and i can't keep worrying about basic things if someone likes me if someone thought i was nice if I created comfort for someone else. Obviously, I'm not talking about like my husband. His opinion is important, obviously. But all the other people, 
I'm just so tired to live my life for someone else and I mean I knew that and I was working on that to let go of that but now I just feel that and I just can't care less honestly and this is so so freeing also I feel like I want to make a video about death because that has been on my mind a lot obviously because my dad passed away but also I don't know it just for me it feels like death always lingers somewhere because nothing in life is promised and it can happen at any moment at any time and just to prove that there was a booktuber her name was Jennifer Brooks and I used to watch her and yeah her videos were so calm and she seemed like a, such a sweet and good person and her video popped on my feed as a recommendation and I mean I was subscribed to her and I was thinking wait I feel like I have not seen her videos for a few months let me go check her channel only to find out that she actually passed away she was 31 years old this is it, it still shocks me I learned about it on the weekend and she passed away I believe in the beginning of January and it hits home a little bit closer because she lived in North Carolina she was from uh, I want to say Greenville or Greensboro but um, yeah I was shocked and then this week um, a few tiktokers passed away that I've seen on my feed and it's just so upsetting and just proves again and again that life is not a rat race and it's just not worth it to to live your life according to someone else i i mean again i think it's like reoccurring theme in my videos like i cannot blame myself for doing that because i was a child and teenager and was young back then there was no one in my environment who was fearless and who chose truly their path people did good things fought poverty and did have a better lifestyle than like their parents before but nothing that would truly make them free and i'm not talking about like revolution or becoming free artists on the open road no i feel like they limited themselves in the fact that they believe that wanting what makes you happy is not right life is hard and you can't put yourself first you have to struggle and life is not about fun you have to struggle work hard prove something to others not yourself and you have to put others before you and this is the environment i grew up in and that was a downfall in a way but now i'm reparenting myself and i'm my own parent and I worked on so many things in the past few months and I feel way better but I swear the moment eclipse happened something like switched I legit woke up and I was like you know what why do I care everything feels like a game I may die tomorrow I don't even know and it's just not worth it